I'm here today to testify that if this country wants to produce its own nickel, it has to mine in Minnesota. If we want our own cobalt, platinum, and palladium, we have to get it in Minnesota. Northeastern Minnesota, where Twin Metals has proposed to operate, sits on top of the largest undeveloped deposit of these minerals in the world. The area contains a stunning 95% of the U.S. nickel resources, 88% of our cobalt, 75% of our platinum group metals, and a third of the country's copper. A domestic source for critical minerals means Minnesota. I know this committee has a deep understanding of why these minerals are fundamental for fighting climate change with technologies like electric vehicles, for our national security, for bringing supply chains home, and for creating American jobs. That's why we at Twin Metals are passionate about advancing a modern, environmentally safe, underground critical minerals project. And while the President himself has said we should do more of this here at home, the Departments of Agriculture and the Interior have instead taken actions to prohibit critical mineral mining in Minnesota. In October of last year, the Department of Agriculture requested to ban mining on a quarter million acres of federal land in Minnesota, taking virtually all of our country's nickel, cobalt, platinum, and palladium off the table. This proposed ban fails to recognize the 130-year history of mining in the same watershed, including operating non-ferrous mines just over the border in Canada. And this decision was made without reviewing the mine plan our company put forward. And let me be clear on that. We've never, we've never asked for anything but a fair process, a thorough review of our mine plan. To proceed with a mining ban means the government isn't going to consider the best information in front of it to determine whether mining can be done safely in this region. In addition, our mineral leases have been the subject of a political back and forth, most recently canceled again in January, which further delays our project and discussions we've had with domestic manufacturers who are interested in the direct purchase of our nickel and cobalt. The United States simply is no longer considered to have a stable regulatory climate. The precedent set by these actions shows that a company can invest hundreds of millions of dollars in this country, create good paying, reliable jobs, earn the support of its local communities, and spend a decade developing a project for it to be arbitrarily canceled. And it's not just mining at risk here. Political battles are being created for projects ranging from recycling facilities to natural gas pipelines to solar arrays and wind farms. Project opponents are sowing distrust in the very regulatory system that these projects depend on for fairness and certainty. And these decisions have real world impacts. Instead of, our, of expanding our team as planned, this month we had to lay off a third of our workforce and end millions of dollars in local contractor work while we seek to have these decisions reversed. As the project is stalled, so are jobs for local labor unions and the region's economic development. Our ability as a country to fight climate change and produce electric vehicles is in the hands of foreign powers, including Russia and China. Unless the United States fosters a reliable, fair, and timely process for environmental review of domestic mining projects, as it has in the past, we will be required to get these resources from foreign sources. We already have a system for determining whether projects, projects like ours can operate safely and protect the environment. NEPA is exhaustive, it's science-based, and it's prescribed in law, and Twin Metals should be undergoing that process right now. Instead, I am unfortunately here today because we, like so many others, are fighting arbitrary actions aimed at circumventing that process in order to pick winners and losers based on politics rather than reviewing the science and facts. The United States has an opportunity to access its domestic mineral resources in an environmentally safe way and under the highest of labor and environmental standards. We can mine here better than anywhere else in the world, but the United States will not be able to do that under the current regulatory process that is unpredictable, subject to political manipulation, with changing rules in each administration, and in conflict with the priorities of our nation. It's past time for Congress to take action. I ask that you rescind the proposed mineral withdrawal and bring stability, fairness, and predictability back to the regulatory process for mining in this country.